Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to it's my camera. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I am Kenethia Johnson or Kenethia J. Welcome back. We have another word. The same word is on privacy again because the same people keep trying to not give me my privacy, show me exes, show me your choice of marriage. I don't need that anymore. I'm getting ready. I'm a happy, I'm almost a happy bride to be. I'm a happy bride to be. Hallelujah. <laughs> but you just keep going. You don't know how to stop. And so here is the word of the Lord for you and your influencers. Oh, there's two. This is for two people, actually. It's for the people who consider themselves an uprightness, but they're evildoers. I don't know. And then this is for actual, which is all evil is evil. Wicked is wicked. Once you... Once you decide to do something dark, it's dark. It's not light. It's not God pushing you to do it. There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. Isaiah 57, verse 21. Another number I've been seeing. Isaiah 57, verse 21. You know why it's not going to be no peace? says the Lord for the wicked because in 56 another number I'm missing the Lord says keep justice and do righteousness keep justice and do righteousness how are you stalking somebody spiritually all day being righteous and you not and God has dismissed you from that assignment Keep justice and do righteousness for my salvation is about to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this and the son of the man who lays hold on it, who keeps from defiling the Sabbath and keeps his hand from doing any evil. There shall be no peace says my God for the wicked. That means even when you invade in Kenithia's privacy, spiritually or physically, sending stalkers, whether it's uh, in a spiritual realm as a, as a leader or whether it's an ex using gang stalkers like from people that you know or whatever, you can't have peace. You want, You keep taking away my peace. So why should you get any peace? Why? Why should you get one little ounce of peace after all this stuff you just put me through and then you try to play crazy like you didn't do nothing? There's a few of y'all. There's no peace for the wicked. And and stop getting upset when somebody say your name after you beat undid some witchcraft on, on somebody. I kept seeing that sign every time this person do something and I wake up praying, sending back all the magic or spell work or whatever. The universe is an alarm. It starts to say your name because the stuff it has to go back to its sender. The Lord says, touch not my anointed do my prophets no harm. If you do not believe Kenithia is called and you're still doing this stuff, you are not exempt from being wicked. You just the unbeliever who keeps attacking somebody who is not doing nothing to you. And so that still makes you an evildoer because I'm minding my business. And you're trying to stop what God has come bringing forth in my life. And it doesn't help that you live in this house or that you be in this house. The wicked has no peace. Once you decide to do this stuff to people and it's a normal life, you don't fear God. You, you have to go. You, you go crazy now because nobody is there 
to help you pretty much. You, you, you told your help. No, you told God, I don't fear you. You don't, you rolled your eyes every time a sign came and he was trying to show you like you didn't want that. You didn't want him, but that doesn't mean he's going to allow you to keep attacking me. No peace for the wicked says God. There is no peace says my God for the wicked. Privacy is the quality of or state of being apart from company or observation, seclusion. The state or condition of being free from being observed, from being watched or disturbed by other people. The state or condition of being free from being observed or watched or disturbed by other people. Not giving someone privacy is a sin. Just like if you go out there and murder somebody, just as if you trick somebody and said they wedding was going to be this year, but you already knew you meant next year or two years from it. It's the same sin as sin. And so when you're in higher power and God done said he can trust you and then you do stuff like this, it breaks his heart, man. Because now you divide in the church off of your own flesh. Just because it's not even that big. Nobody was going to die. Nobody was being sinful. Just because of control and manipulation. No peace says my God for the wicked.